Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is the June Bambox. It's the original, or as people call it, the OG Bambox. Uh, so we're gonna do this, and uh, I'm doing. I'm gonna release this one first, and then I'm gonna release the horror one because I got them in the same day. So check out both the videos. Um, I'm actually doing it, it them in that order. So. I have a feeling there may be the same uh, an autograph from the same person in the two boxes, so just make sure you watch. Well, if you're watching it, continue to watch this one, then watch the horror one because there might be a spoiler if that's the case. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, there's one property in this June original box that I've been very much interested in. I forgot all the other properties that were going to be in it just because I wasn't super interested in the other ones. But the one I'm really, really looking forward to, I hope it's an art print because I'm mainly into the pins and art prints, so just having like an art print print of that particular thing would be super cool. Tissue paper for the cat, which by the way, you may hear her in the background. She's been messing around with a lot of stuff, so she's crazy today. All right, the first item is a prop replica. It feels kind of weird. What is this? I don't understand. It's like an icicle. Literally, it's like an icicle. Oh, oh, that, that that's kind of interesting. Superman. Um, it's been there's an S. You can you know, kind of see. Can you can you see? I can get it in the light in the right lighting. There you go. You can see the S right there. There you go. Uh, and then like look at this. It's actually pretty cool. It's like pretty heavy. Um, plastic, and uh, I mean it looks cool. The coloration and how it kind of like bleeds down—that's kind of nice. Which Superman? I'm sorry, it's been a long time since I watched Superman. One of the Christopher Reeves Superman movies, I think Superman Two, Superman Three, where they had like the ice cave or some crap. I don't remember. It's been a long time. I was a kid. Literally saw these movies when I was a kid, like below the age of ten. I swear, S haven't seen them since. So. Uh, that's a cool prop replica, actually. Kind of cool. Um, I don't know how you display it. I guess you just sit it upright. That's not a bad way to do it. It looks good. It's nice and heavy, too, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't like the fact that I feel this. There's a poster rolled up in here, and I guarantee they rolled it the way I don't like it either. Arr, with the thing on the inside. It's really hard to flatten these things out. Ow. Come on, man. Eh, it's kind of cool. But like I said, this is going to be hard to flatten out. Um, certificate of Authenticity from Super Mario World, the cartoon. Um, actually, I'm going to put this down so I can properly get in here to show you. Let's see if I can... Can you see it? There you go. It's Luigi. It's like a little... I forget what they call it, like, when they just kind of, like, trace it first and it's not been, like, done fully. Um, but it's Luigi. I know the numbers down here mean something. Like, what page it is and, and what what drawing and all that. That's cool. And they have the little thing of authenticity with it as well, which is nice. I mean, that's cool. Uh, I just don't like when, when like, things like this are all rolled up. It's just so hard to get them unrolled. Um, so if you have them rolled the other way with the art on the outside, which I understand why you don't, because you don't want to chance damaging it, but it's just so hard to get these things unrolled. Minor gripe. Very minor. Okay, so let's go with the next thing. Uh, the pin. Really always like the pin. Um, I like this, but... <laughs> It solicited the response it did for me because I just, if, did people see the fire sale box, the horror fire, fire sale box unboxing? Because it's something kind of similar. It was all like horror items except like two of the pins and they kind of like match up with this in a sense. Uh, I knew Looney Tunes was one of the properties for this. So of Looney Tunes, Yosemite Sam, that looks really good. Look at this. That's cool. That looks really nice. I love these pins, man. They always do such a good job. By Create or Destroy is who did that one. I like it. I like the pin. It was just like, oh, it's Looney Tunes thing again. Because I got two pins that were Looney Tunes in that fire sale box. And they were both the same. So I was kind of salty about that. So when I saw Yosemite Sam, it was like flashback to me being like, man. 
but that that's cool. All right, uh, the art print. Oh yes, this is the property that I wanted it to be. Yes, uh, the artist is Awald. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Mhm. Mm yup. Yup. This is nice. Okay, I got number eight hundred ninety-six out of two thousand. Fight Club. I love Fight Club. Probably one of my top twenty. Top 20 movies of all time? I've seen a lot of movies, so top 20 is very good. Look at this. Bike Club. It's nice. Tyler Durden and Jack. Very cool. I like that. Yes! That's all I needed out of this box, honestly, is to get a good Fight Club item. When I saw Fight Club was going to be in it, I was like, as long as that Fight Club item is good, I am good. And the pin is cool. Yeah. Well, let's finish it out with the autograph. I'm pretty sure I know what this autograph is going to be. Okay, so, I'm glad I have this autograph, straight up. I like this actor, I'm a fan, I like the fact that they got this autograph. I just wish it was a different property that it had something signed for. So, uh, this is friggin' Matthew Lillard, man. I like Matthew Lillard, I mainly like him from the movie Hackers. I know that may be a pretty unpopular comment, because Hackers really is not a good movie, but for some reason that movie to me is just... I can watch it all the time. Like, I love something about that movie. I just love it. I know it's not a good movie, but I love it. So anyway, it's uh, Shaggy from the Scooby-Doo movie. Or uh, Matthew Lillard from the Scooby-Doo movie as Shaggy. So that's good. Oh, man. That's really cool that they got Matthew Lillard, though. That's really cool that they got Matthew Lillard. I like him a lot. So, um, I mean, like I said, I wish this was a different property, but that's a cool autograph. It's really cool. Um, wow. Okay. I like this box. This box was good. Um, to recap, great autograph. Love Matthew Lillard. This Fight Club art print is really cool. That's going on my wall for sure. Uh, the pin. The pin is so well done. If I'm going to get a Looney Tunes one, you send me Sam's really cool. I like that. The piece of cartoon art, Little Luigi, is nice. And for a prop replica, because you know I'm not big into them, the Superman Icicle is pretty, pretty cool. I actually think I might display this, because you don't even, like, if you display it like this, you don't even need to know that it's Superman, because you won't see that. But it just looks like a cool friggin' Icicle. So, why not? Actually, you could probably put it in the freezer, and then have people touch it. I don't know why. <laughs> Seemed like a thing to say. All right, so let me get the spoiler sheet out and see what types of variations there were. So with the Matthew Lillard autograph, you could have ended up with two different prints. We got the normal one. Uh, I got the normal one. There was also a limited uh, out of 99, only 99 done, which has more to it. I'll show you in a second. And they were, they were also putting in T-shirts, signed T-shirts which is a cool idea. So you can see right there, the two different prints and the t-shirt, which is cool. Then the, there's no difference in the icicle, it's just the prop replica. Does it say which one? Um, Richard Donner's Superman movie in 1978 and its sequels. This is the crystal, so uh, the blood of House L will always bind us together. The key to the fortress is named as a sunstone crystal. Okay, so it's a sunstone crystal, it looks like. You know. Alright. Then there was one of a kind animations pencil sketches. There are a few more, you know, ideas of what you could have ended up with. I mean, honestly, if I'm gonna get these types of things, I'm fine with it being Super Mario. Um, I like Super Mario stuff, so that's cool. Uh, two variants on the Fight Club. Not that big of a difference. Hmm, I think I kind of like the one I got more uh, instead of the out of 500. So I'm fine with the fact that I didn't get anything special. Then the pins. Um, obviously the regular one was Yosemite Sam. Then there's uh, there were 250 limited edition ones that were Marvin the Martian and 99 that were that big, uh, can I get this lighting to look better? 
kind of just, it's weird, it changes from time to time. There we go, look at that. Weird technology. Anyway, uh, then then the the real rare one was 99 made, it was uh, that like red fuzzy guy, I don't even remember what he's called. It's been a long time for me, this red fuzzy guy, but look at those. The Marvin the Martian one looks really badass too. Of those three, I think the Marvin the Martian's my favorite. But that's okay, I didn't get it. And then the giveaway, they pretty much are always doing a giveaway. Um, you could win a Bob McCloud signed Superman The Wedding Album 1996 number one comic. So that's down there. That's cool. Alright. So, yeah, this was a good box. Um, I'm way more into the horror box, way, way, way more into horror box. But as long as I get like one or two things out of the regular box that I really like, I'm good and this time around it's I mean the autograph's really cool obviously and that fight club print so those are my big things so uh, Bambox staying strong I like it I like it uh, check out my next video that I'll be putting up at same day so you know if you're seeing this immediately and the other one's not up it will be up within the hour so just know that because I gotta do like the editing stuff but check that one out too thank you so much for checking this out and until next time keep it brutal